So, Betty, we are re-releasing your memoir for a fourth time. I think like, we made six rounds. Four title changes, and the new title is Sex by Design. I love it. I How love did it. we get there? Well, Sex by Design is the last expression. Those are the last three words that I have at the end of the book. But at the very beginning of our of our business. One of the first videos we did together, I entitled Sex by Design. No, I thought it was the first article I ever wrote. I think it's a, a, the three firsts, I think. And so I write this article, no, you, or you, yeah, it was an article about how, set, how Eric and I had sex. And I wrote about it, and you titled it Sex, sex by, by Design. Design. And I went, oh, I love this woman. So that's so brilliant. That is what I want. I want to, like I designed. Well, not that you want. That's what your life was. Well, that's, I designed my life. When people read your memoir, especially the women who are getting certified to run body sex workshops, because that's required reading, of course, <laughs> they always say how they're struck that, you know, at 1950, you were able to break out of those rigid sex roles, whether it's your family or society or you're a woman, you can't do this, you can't do you blazed ahead, and you tried reason, out different... The reason I was able to do that is my training. If you're trained as an artist, you are told or taught or encouraged to seek your own vision, mm -hmm. to find out what you really want. Don't imitate. Don't imitate. Be original. So that was my art training, and I was doing it for years, years and years. And we never think of that as a concept of doing it with our sex lives no. and our relationship choices. You know, because you tried a little bit of everything to see what you liked. Yes. Come on. It's, every time you set up a canvas, it's a blank canvas. So the, our life is a blank canvas, and we can paint whatever image we want. And it can change. It doesn't stay the same. Yeah, absolutely. You don't just do <laughs> one painting. You do many, many, many paintings. So it was just like I was set up for this to design my life. And that's what I think is so amazing about your memoir. And, of course, she made me add 90 images to the middle of the book. So it's available in print as an ebook. I'll put the links in here. But I have to say, it's much better with the images at the time. I wanted to kill you. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> You've, I think there have been about 100 times you've wanted to kill me. And we, I would, are, we are officially done. I wouldn't have blamed you if you did. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I mean, I can put up with me because I live with me. And this is the story of my life. I edit again and again and again. It's like painting. Changes, changes, and it builds as you change. Well, the pictures are great because it's you throughout all of these sex changes. Yes. yes. And living these different lifestyles and finding out who you are and, and living in the moment. I am so proud of my book right now. You should be proud of your life, too. I am proud of my life. I mean, how many women look back in their 80s and 90s with no regrets saying, God damn it, I did it. I did it all. You did it. I'm, I'm thinking of a few new things, but I'll get back to you when I figure out what they are. <laughs> <laughs> but they will be. You know, you know there's some shit coming up that I'm going to do. Well, I think that's the challenge, to always be able to embrace yeah. you know, what's happening in your life. And right it's now, I have self love. That have that big pile of clay I'm going to start uh, I'm going to sculpt a, a few more dildos a dildo. <laughs> I'm going to sculpt dildos well it's interesting because we have a lot of new products coming out we have a master orgasm class <sighs> added to our line of jewelry so keep posted on what we're doing it's really exciting it's a good time 2016 I think is a good year it's every year is a good year and this mm -hmm. is going to be a better year I mean this is really this will be a better year for me and you and then the baby. And, and Stephen. <laughs> Stephen. Well, it's not even a better year. It's always a good year. I, I know, think. but I want it to be better every year. Well, I remember as a young child raised in a religious home, I remember thinking there has to be more and that I wanted to make a different life for myself. And I wanted to let go of the guilt and the shame and the misogyny. And I wanted to go out and trailblaze. And you can make those choices. So yes. as you read... <laughs> Betty's memoir, you're going to be impressed with the level of courage it took because when she was doing this, there was no women out there doing this. Now, we have a lot of support, and I love yes. that you can be there as a support. You can think, you know, little Betty on your shoulder, <laughs> the devil or yeah. the angel, I'm not sure. <laughs> do it. Do it. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> Live your life. You know, that I think of all the women we're certifying in your work that will be there to support women to make 
those choices of self-love and self-knowledge and just happiness, pleasure, joy. One of, my, one, of my, <laughs> one of my favorite comments was this friend of mine. He said, my grandfather, who is nearly a hundred, he's ancient, saw that book and he started to read it and he won't give it back to me. And he said, I didn't even think he was interested in sex. And so here he is reading this book. You, I promise, read one page. And put it down. We you take can't. the challenge. You can't do you it. You can't do it. You can't stop. And, you know, Grant said that to me. Betty, you can turn to any page and start reading. Well, you show your veins and you're honest. You know, and not many people are honest about their lives. They, they paint it to be a certain way because you've made your mistakes. And that's why it resonates with people. Yeah, I talk about them, too. The mistakes and the successes and the fear and the trial. And the hot sex. <laughs> and the lots of not sex. It wasn't always lots of sex. It was a lot of not sex. And celibacy. You know, it, it, I... Oh, that was when I chose it. I think when people read your memoir, they might be shocked at all the different lifestyle choices that, that you've made and how you've lived, how you've chosen to live. They're all available. Mm -hmm. From celibacy, chosen, to hedonism. Yeah. You can, it's a big range. Design your life. Design it just like a painting. Enjoy.